Have you ever wondered how many cheese graters there are and objectively how good they are at their jobs? Well, I'm here to help. These are my cheese graters and I'm tier listing them. Why? Because why not, Janet? Here we have our traditional cheese grater. Here we have a handheld cheese grater. Here we have the cheese grater that's in a tub. Here we have a cheese grater that is also a lemon zester. Here we have this hand cranked cheese grater, this cheese slicer. We have some novelty cheese graters like the cheese grating dagger, the knuckle dusters cheese grater, the hedgehog cheese grater, the cat cheese grater, what I'm gonna call the roundabout cheese grater, cheese grater skyscraper that is in London, the paper aeroplane cheese grater, just a potato peeler, and a cheese knife. Now, let's go through these. We all know the cheese grater. Four sides. Versatile. Stand still. You just hold it at the top. Great, great, great. No movement. That's why I think this is a pretty good control cheese grater. This is everything that your cheese grating should aspire to be. This cheese grater, handheld one. Wonderful, wonderful cheese grater. I much prefer it. They use it in restaurants when, you know, you want parmesan. But this, also a good cheese grater, but less versatile than the four-sided cheese grater. So it's going in an A tier. I'm being very generous right now, but let me tell you about the cheese grater with a tub. We have this exact model in our house. I hate it. I don't know if it's because it's older than our other cheese graters, but the cheese grating part that's under the lid and above the tub moves. So when you're grating your parmesan, it moves and you can't grate evenly. And therefore, I think this is pretty much a D tier cheese grater. It still grates the cheese, but it takes its damn time. Next we have um, the cheese grater that looks like a file. If you do woodworking, you know pretty much the same as our friend, the handheld cheese grater. And therefore, I feel like it will go in C. Now, the hand crank cheese grater. Do you know what I hate about this? You put your cheese in, you push the side in, and then you crank with this like round grater that's, it moves. There's always the tiny bit of cheese that gets stuck and it doesn't grate anymore. And then you keep going and you almost grate the plastic that the hand crank cheese grater is made of. Now, this is no offense to my Orma, who owns this cheese grater, but it also annoys me because it's really old. So therefore, I think it's pretty much on par with this bad boy. Yes, I'm using Google Slides to make this tier list because I am lazy. Next, we have the cheese uh, slicer. We have one of these. This is good for cheeses that you like in slices. Your cheese always breaks. You can never get like a normal even slice. I think it's pretty on par with the file. Next we'll go to our novelty cheese graces. Cheese dagger. This is basically the same as the handheld cheese grater but with a different handle and therefore I think it's pretty on par. The knuckle duster cheese grater. I don't understand how this works because there's not really another side to it. You're not grating your knuckles. I'm assuming there's the cheese goes like in a little gap between the two layers but the problem is for me you're gonna get your cheese stuck in there. It goes in D. Hedgehog cheese grater. I've never used one of these. This looks like it's made of plastic or colored metal. I can't really tell. It seems pretty standard, but I also feel like if it's got legs, it's gonna move. And I'm sorry to all hedgehogs everywhere, but this is an E-tier cheese grater. We're gonna continue with our novelty cheese graters. Move on to the cat. Cat got pretty big holes, uh, cheese grating holes. Sue me, but this is pretty on par with the handheld cheese grater and the dagger cheese grater. I don't know how to describe this. It looks like a roundabout, you know, like a children's roundabout you have on a playground. I'm gonna put in F just for pure confusion. We're gonna do our final novelty cheese grater, the paper airplane cheese grater. 
This seems impractical for one reason, and that the reason is that you could cut yourself. There's not really like a handle part. Like yeah, there's a little bit right here where it's not got cheese grating holes, but that seems like it would hurt. And the only reason it's going in E is because it, I don't think it's as bad as the roundabout, but it is still quite annoying to me. And I feel like it would be as impractical as the hedgehog. Cheese grater the sky. I've never been. I don't actually know what kind of building it is. I did no research on what kind of building it is. Have I seen this in the skyline? Yes. Can I identify it? Well, probably only because it's next to the gherkin. It's an F tier cheese grater mainly because I don't think I've ever seen great cheese. Next we have the potato peeler. This is kind of like our good friend, the cheese slicer. You can use it in basically the same way. Um, but also, your vegetable peeler is versatile. It's B tier because it's slightly better. Uh, it's not just limited to cheese, it's also, you know, for vegetables. And lastly, we have our good pal, the cheese knife. I've never used a cheese knife. I don't think people trust me with knives. But the cheese knife, I see, because it's got the same usage as the potato peeler and the cheese slicer, but it's different. So these are our cheeses. Please give me your opinion. I have an unbiased opinion. I say having deliberately ranked two cheese grit is low because I hate to use them. This is cheese. And cheese is a serious business. I believe in this. Yes, I'm lactose intolerant. We'll not talk about it. Anyway, I'm an Orange Bunny and I hope you, uh, you grate your cheese correctly. Goodbye.